So um, here's some of these frames that I, I started to make yesterday. Basically what they're for is to put some uh, perspex around them and then sort of position them around Wanda once she's here alongside this other boat. Um, and the idea is to contain as much of the dust um, and you know, shavings from wood and grinding dust and things from, from going over and disturbing my neighbor's boat. So, um, yeah, they're pretty, um, they're pretty uh, insistent that people look after their own mess and that they don't disturb the other boats around here. So they've advised me to, um, to screen off Wanda, so I've made these frames. Anyway, so I've just used stud timber um, and they're about 4.4 metres high. Uh, and as you can see, they're just a little bit sort of twisty, um, not surprisingly, because they're 4.4 metres high and 2.4 across. Um, so I'm sure the plastic will give it a little bit more stability. Um, but what I think I need to do is, is put some sort of struts coming down this way uh, sideways to sort of help prevent some of that twist. So I'm going to sort of make a foot coming out and then uh, have this strut here that will go uh, up to the top and sort of mount uh, maybe about two thirds of the way up. This piece I've got in my hands is not, not quite long enough. So what I've got here is some building sand and I'm going to use that um, on these bases that I'm going to add to these frames. So the building sand will go down to the bottom and the frames to give it a bit more stability. Okay, well I'll, um, I'll get to work on these then. Okay, I've got two screens made up um, and they took me probably two to three hours each, so way too long. I've got all this timber here um, and I need to try and make another two to three today, hopefully because I've got the sort of prototype done and I know what I'm doing now, I can just um, pre-measure everything up and pre-drill everything and try and do it a little bit faster. Um, so Wanda's arriving tomorrow, these cradles will be moved out and Wanda will be here. So um, once she gets set down here then I can um, lay these um, screens or position, position these screens uh, around her um, and then she'll be ready to start work. Okay, so I'll try and crack on and get, um, get two or three of these done. I've got enough timber for three. So here we go.
So this is the end of my day and uh, I've just packed up a little bit of rubbish here to throw out. Basically, that's, uh, that's the four screens that I've made. Um, the last couple I made it a lot faster. The last one probably took just about an hour and 15 minutes. So um, getting everything sort of pre-done and, and doing everything in templates um, and doing sort of three or four components at the same time it seems to have same uh, saved time for me. So, But it wasn't fun. It was a bit of a um, tough job. Um, I'm shattered actually. It's been really exhausting. But anyway, there they are. So they are 4.4 meters high um, and they look pretty stable so the sandbags on the base and these sort of lateral struts here um, they're relatively rigid so I'm quite happy with them I need to make two more and then I can set them up tomorrow once the boat arrives um, so that's it for today Let's see if we get this finished tomorrow. Okay, so here's uh, Wonder in the Shed and the screen that I've been working on for the past couple of days has been assembled um, and I'm actually quite pleased with the way it's worked out so I've got six segments of this um, screen it's just a stud timber frame with some uh, PVC plastic over the top which is clear to let the light through which is good um, these are 4.4 meters high each section so a little bit difficult for me to to um, build and move on my own. Um, I got some help yesterday to put it together, which was good. So um, there's these struts here, and then there's a sandbag down the bottom, as you can see there on the base, to sort of give it a little bit more stability. Um, and it's actually quite stable, which is great. On this side there, um, just clamped onto this steel uh, girder, just with like a little um, bracket that I made up, or clamped on. Okay, so I've got six sections, 4.4 meters high, which is good to protect this boat here from all the dust and stuff that will come off when you start grinding. Um, and then at the back of the shed here, I've just got a workbench, some shelves. Um, there's some of the stud timber left over. So I can, you know, really set up a little workspace here, which would be good. Get all my tools out. I've wasted hours looking for things yesterday or the last couple of days. Looking for tools on the floor and never knowing where I left something. So you should make it easier to organize. Okay, I've got a little door here in the screen. Uh, and here we are. Scaffold that I've got. Uh, there's a ladder. So we'll see how we go with the screen if it's high enough. If it's not high enough, we can just drape some sort of lighter um, material over the top. But this will be a good starting point. And given that the temperatures here are about the same inside as outside, maybe colder inside, I've got a little portable heater there to set up. Well, that's actually to dry out the deck because there's still high moisture readings in the deck. So have this on for a couple of weeks and see what that does. So there you go. There's my new workspace, uh, which is great massive improvement of where I was last time. I can really get to work here.